Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing a what I love about your zodiac sign part two. This is going to be a part two. It has been a while since I have came on camera and talked to y'all about some zodiac signs. I'm actually really excited for today's video because I love zodiac signs. Before we get started, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to follow me on my socials. I do post there mostly on TikTok though, so you can catch me in TikTok, catch me in them comments. We're gonna keep this video short and sweet, that is the goal. So we're gonna go ahead, jump straight into it, starting with Aries. Hey Aries, I just wanna say what I love about you so much is that y'all are the life of the party. Y'all are so down and you carry that black force energy all the time. You guys are always ready to fight. You're ready to fight for yourself, ready to fight for somebody you love. And also, you just always you just always have such high energy, right? So you're definitely always making things a lot more fun. You want to go on an adventure. You're not scared of anything. You're always ready to jump straight into something. If you have good feelings about something, if your instincts are telling you about something, you're always the first one to just jump straight in. And you're just so fearless and so powerful, Aries. You just to me, you really represent like a burning hot red. Somebody who is just so passionate and inviting and also a little bit intimidating. But I just love that energy about you that you're just so confident, that you're just so assertive, that you have leadership skills. Surprisingly, a lot of Aries are pretty organized just because they know what they want. They're like super, like I said, super decisive. So they're pretty organized and they have a specific way of doing things. And I love that about y'all because you know what you want and you always go after what you want. And it's an amazing quality. Things are safe in the hands of an Aries. Not to mention, they make great friends because they are always going to defend you. Like they will defend your name behind your back. They will defend your name in front of your face. They will defend you, okay? Like they will fight if they feel like you're being disrespected. They'll fight on your behalf. Like they will fight for you. They will fight with you. They're just great people, great friends. I love you, Aries, from a fellow fire sign. <laughs> Next up, we have Taurus. Taurus, hello. What do I love about you? We're going out of order today. I'm just gonna be going all around. We're not gonna do, do it by specific element this video. We're just gonna go random. So Taurus, what I love about you is that you are so stable. Like you just don't switch up. I feel like Tauruses are just that rock that everybody needs in their life because they are so dedicated to themselves. They're dedicated to their loved ones. They're dedicated to what it is they love to do, okay? Y'all are so calm. I know people get mad at y'all sometimes for being calm. And not every Taurus is calm, obviously. Some Tauruses are super funny and super outgoing. But a lot of the time, Tauruses like to be more reserved and just do their own thing. But I just love how consistent you are. You don't switch up. My little sister is a Taurus, and she is just so consistent when she sets her mind to something there's no going back for her so it's like that is just such a good quality to have because she's able to go after what she wants and that's what i love about Taurus. i feel like they just make miracles happen okay they are very in this life they're very present they are super in touch with the earth and just this world and just their senses so they oh they know what to do when it comes to materials when it comes to the material world when it comes to money when it comes to food when it comes to materialistic things they just know they they are amazing they have great taste high quality taste they know how to cook I freaking love Tauruses cooking I just think Tauruses are great and like I said again y'all are just so consistent so stable your energy you bring is just amazing so I love you Taurus now we're moving on to Aquarius. Hello Aquarius, how are you doing? So what do I love about Aquarius? I love that Aquariuses are so unique, okay? They just kind of fit in their own type of space and that they're always just kind of 
sticking to whatever it is that they want. They're very independent people. They don't really need others. And I just really admire that about them. They're just kind of, they walk to the beat of their own drum. They're, but at the same time, they can be super social. They're funny. They're hilarious. I think Aquariuses are hilarious. And I think that Aquariuses are super talented and artistic. And they're also very detailed. Because they are so intelligent, Aquariuses are also very intelligent. And because they're so intelligent, I feel like you're able to to kind of you always stick to a great plan like you always have a good plan in mind and you're just so quick-witted and these types of uh, this intelligence this quick wit it serves you well it serves the people around you well and I feel like you pay attention to details as an air sign I feel like air signs are kind of like wishy-washy but I feel like since an Aquarius is a fixed sun y'all are so stable and you really pay attention to those details you are very good at being very realistic okay some and idealistic I feel like that idealistic with the realistic comes together and makes a beautiful match for Aquarius you can make anything happen with that type of mindset and with those qualities all right then the next sign is Scorpio hello Scorpio what do I love about you I love Scorpio's charisma I think Scorpios are so funny you guys are literally crazy and I, I love that about you like you're just so out there you're so attracted to like darkness and like scary stuff and that is so funny but also like we need people like you okay because y'all are like so brave not in this not in an airy type of way the brave but in the brave in the sense that like the the things that the average person doesn't want to see y'all want to see you want to see you want to be all up in there you're not scared of blood you're not scared of death you're not scared of all of these taboos in life and i think that that's great because we need people like that you know we need people who aren't afraid of a lot of these taboos because then you know you're the people that really take care of others you know if somebody's bleeding out you're the you're the person that's going to be there and not even be freaked out by it you know if somebody throws up you're not even going to be grossed out if somebody you know has some crazy battle scars you're not you're actually interested okay <laughs> you you want to see the scars you're not even chipping off the fact that it's a scar like you're just not scared of like these these things these really tough things you actually live for it you live for this kind of like um darkness or this dark side and i it's really nice about you guys but also you guys are hilarious i've oh every scorpio that i've ever met has been so freaking funny but in such like they don't even try to be funny it's not like they're cracking jokes all the time it's just that them and the things they say is just hilarious so scorpios keep it up also i think scorpios are super loyal like they are to die like die hard loyal scorpios make some of the best friends lovers they're definitely loyal but they're a little crazy but that some people kind of like that and it works for some people because like what they give you is loyalty and a heart of gold and they're also kind of like aquarius in the, uh, not aquarius aries in the sense that they'll just cut you if you try to mess with somebody they love or their family or something like that so i love scorpions because they always stick up for the people that they care about leos all right leos what do i love about you i love that y'all are so confident okay confidence is a leo leos are confident confident that is just their um personality is so warm they're always so positive they're hilarious they live for adventure they live for fun they have high taste they have great taste best believe if a leo is choosing your food spots you're gonna be eating good if a leo is planning your vacation it's gonna be great they just have such good taste they have great taste in music great taste in clothes they're just they just have that oomph, you know a leo will never really take things too personal or get too offended because they just have such high confidence like if anything they're just super chill and they kind of just do their own thing they're worried about progressing their own life and that's a great quality to have i think leos are super generous too as friends and lovers they're just so generous they'll to shower people with things they'll to shower the people that they care about with love and of course they expect that same thing in return you know they're not just gonna give 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 and you're just gonna take to take no you have to get back too some people get upset that that leos need that um like need the same treatment that they give but it's only fair because they're spoiling you like all the time so i mean it makes sense that they want to be spoiled back too so i think leos are great and i think that they deserve all the love in the world and their generosity is great they have a heart of gold 
Libra. All right, so Libra, what do I love about you? I love that you can see all sides of the situation. I think Libras are so cute too. I love the fashion sense, the beauty. It's just amazing. I love it, y'all are ruled by Venus. You just have that nice fashion sense, very feminine fashion sense. Um, even if you're a boy, girl, just they have that type of like femininity, you know, and it's because Venus is a feminine sign. So it's just really nice. It's super refreshing and they're just super soft people. I feel like they just have really like mushy hearts. They're super soft and they're just super flexible. Like they just go with the flow. They're super indecisive. So like you could probably choose for them. They're like very easygoing people. And I just love that about you because it's like, if you don't, if you really want to go somewhere, they're not going to stop you and be like, no, I don't, I don't really want to go there no i don't want to go there like no they would never say that they'd be like sure let's go like they're just super down for the plan like down for whatever they're down for what you want they want to try something new anyway and they probably even if they wanted something they probably didn't really want it that bad because they like to they're just never really decisive so it's kind of like if you if they kind of let you take charge if you want to take charge which is nice because they're that's like thoughtful you know they're really thinking about what you want to do and they're putting your needs before their own needs so libras are super sweet in that way and i love you for that pisces pisces what do i love about you okay so pisces what i love about you is that you have all of the qualities of a water sign in the sense that you're emotional you're dreamy but at the same time you have a, a little bit of more mutability so like you don't really hold a grudge for too long actually so that's super cool because you're super easy going and carefree you're really not trying to hold grudges on like you're just trying to be more positive live your life and you're super spiritual and into like a lot of that spiritual stuff and i think that's pretty cool because it's like you're just looking for self-improvement you know and um i also just appreciate your like dreaminess and the fact that you can just express yourself in the way that you want and also help others along the way it's a great quality to have you know so keep it up pisces i feel like when your friend needs you like you're always gonna be there and also i feel like you can help people who are a little bit too realistic you can really help them open up and like make them feel comfortable like people can talk to you about certain things that they wouldn't talk to with other people because you just have that kind of presence that like you can you know they can just talk to you so it's nice next sign is capricorn hello capricorn how are you doing i freaking love capricorns i think capricorns are so cute because they're honestly so reliable they're like true amazing loyal friends and family they they are just they always have your back they're always thinking about other people they're always thinking about you they're always thinking about your needs your wants they are generous people they are also super detailed okay like a capricorn is super organized they got everything going for them they have they always have money best believe if you ask your capricorn friend to go somewhere they may not come just because they don't want to go out but when they're ready to go out and they're ready to have a good time they are gonna spend that money because they have the money okay they are not the type of friends to like freeload off of you or anything like that no they have their money they're ready to have a good time when they're ready to have a good time they they make it great and they also have such like funny humor i don't know i feel like they are just funny people they always make me laugh they're just like they're just like teddy bears i don't know i feel like everybody's always like they're so serious and mean and like they can be but like when they warm up to you and like if you're actually close to a capricorn they have like the softest hearts like they are they're always like just so they're just really soft people and they're actually sensitive people on the inside so you have to be a little bit careful however that is one of their qualities because they're sensitive they can be sensitive to you they can be receptive to your feelings you know sometimes with earth signs they're like not that emotional but i feel like with the capricorn they really will try to like understand you and try to understand your emotions because like they have emotions too but they just never share them so when if you share your emotions with them they're going to be respect receptive to that because they wish that they could share their emotions does that make sense they're just super nice people you could talk to them about anything they'll keep your secrets they're like diaries honestly and they're super chill and i like that about them like they don't you don't need to talk 24 7 to be a fun interesting person like and i just love that they're, they're chill demeanor but when you get to know them they are hilarious and they're some of the best people and most loyal people you'll ever meet 
Sagittarius. Hello, Sagittarius. I'm Sagittarius myself. I love how carefree you are. Like, you can literally do anything. You're just so chill. You just do your own thing. You're just going with the flow. You you want to try out new things. You want to travel. You want to experience the world. You want to experience life. And you're super philosophical and I freaking love that about you because I feel like there is something about Sagittarius that's very unique compared to the other zodiac signs because we're the sign of philosophy. Like sometimes I'll find myself thinking like what is life? What What is reality? Like what's the difference between us and our dreams? You know? And it's just really funny because it's kind of like food for thought. You know? We like to kind of be challenged mentally philosophy it really can mentally stimulate your you you mentally stimulate yourself you mentally stimulate other people you know it's just a really nice experience i think scientists always have good vibes they always bring the vibes we may not be the most consistent or responsible people in the world but we always bring good vibes okay we're not out to get nobody we're always just doing our own thing kind of minding our own business and just trying to bring more vibes bring good vibes bring positivity out in the world you know that's kind of what we're about just like traveling like i said getting to really know the world on a vast level on all levels really connect with the earth i feel like we're just pretty dynamic people but at the same time we have all the qualities of a fire sign which are very passionate and and intelligent intuitive okay sagittarius are very intuitive they just know okay it's almost like we're psychic or something i don't know but i freaking love that about y'all and also um aries and leo as well they're super intuitive fire signs never get enough credit for being intuitive but we know we know so how could i forget the fact that sag will always tell the truth like we actually can't lie like we're so bad at lying like it's really bad like we can't do it so you'll know if we're lying like my parents know when i'm lying like my boyfriend knows when i'm lying like i'm a bad liar and that's a good thing because like you know that means i kind of have to tell the truth and sometimes i like sometimes they can be a little too harsh but i'd rather have the truth than a lie okay i always take the truth and that truth seeking quality is what i love about your sash virgo so Virgo, what do I love about you? I love that y'all are so smart. Like you could pay attention to every little detail. You remember something from me or from like, you know, from a person, from like your friends or something, you remember that detail. Like if they said something five years ago that they liked, you're gonna remember that. If nobody else remembers it, you will. Virgos are always the ones who know everything. They're the planner friend. They know all the details. They are just great people and they're like Capricorn in the sense that they always got money, okay? they. Love love working they love making money they're pretty dependable people honestly burgers are literally so cute they're always just kind of like nervous or like doing their own thing they're perfectionists they're just thinking about so much that they become nervous but at the same time that's a good thing because they're thinking so much you know i'd rather have somebody who thinks too much than somebody who doesn't think at all and is literally a bozo so Virgo's like y'all are great your perfectionism your attention to detail your organization your stability all of that is great you know i think that those are really good qualities to have i think that y'all are always very like clean okay that clean quality is definitely a virgo and i think that that is just so admirable that you can like literally plan something like you are so dedicated you're so responsible you're so cleanly you have so much cleanliness like it's just great just great qualities to have okay super responsible person next zodiac sign that we have is gemini gemini is also ruled by mercury just like virgo so what i love about your gemini's is that you have great communication skills and that you guys are honestly pretty like interesting like the fact that you guys can switch from two personas is definitely something that's like scary but also it's kind of like a good thing because that you guys can be so flexible and like you're just so open to so many different people and so many different things you're just ready to make friends all the time very very social people so if you're a social person get yourself a gemini because they are going to want to be super social they're going to want to talk to everybody they're going to know they're going to know about everything they're going to know about everybody <laughs> they're going to 
I have all the inside scoops like a Gemini is that person that like loves to be around people they love to be around the drama they love to be around like parties and things like that like they are the type of people who go wild so if you like to go wild uh, that's the kind of person you need okay it's a Gemini that life that kind of I have to always be doing something kind of person that's definitely the Gemini and those are interesting and very unique qualities to have also uh, I would say that another quality that I appreciate about you is that you have the best communication skills like the communication skills are so good that they're scary they're a little deadly and also your written skills are amazing like your oral and written skills are such good it's so good at communication and persuasion and all those types of things that you're into so many different interests like you can appeal to a wide crowd you know cancer cancer what do I like about you I like that y'all are very you can be very nice people what i like is that you can be very nice when you want to be and you can be very giving very helpful you know like you're always trying to like help people around you you just want to make sure that they're doing good you want to make sure that they're they've got everything they need a lot of people call cancers like the mom friend so you know like that type of like a sweetness that you can give that kind of comfort that you can give to people is honestly really admirable and not everybody can do it not everybody can pull that off you know there's a certain charm that cancers have for certain signs because you know that like feminine energy is very strong you know cancer is the moon so it has a lot of feminine energy very mysterious but also kind of like motherly and feminine so you know those I'm a masculine sign so like I don't really have that like femininity but you know i think it's great that uh, a lot of cancers do have that and i think that cancers are also very dedicated people not just to the people around them but also to their like lovers to their family to themselves i think um though that's a really good quality to have because when you're dedicated you produce more quality and i think that that's a, a quality that they do have that they stick to something they really keep the same friends for a long time so like if you have a cancer friend you're gonna stay friends with them for a very long time like i me and my best friend we have been friends since like eighth grade and she is a cancer and i am now fourth year in college and we're still like best friends so that's eight years almost and it's just they just they don't go anywhere like they're just they're just there you know they they hold on to those friendships that when that they make they hold on to those bonds like they're not gonna just let you go you know like they're they will hold on to you and cherish you and i really like that type of dedication that you can get from you know a cancer so yeah that is it thank you so much for watching this video please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button before you go and please be sure to follow me on my socials i do post there leave a comment down below i'd love to know what you want to see what did you think do you agree with what i said do you disagree with what i said let me know i will answer and i will see y'all in my next video thank you so much for watching bye